Hi, good afternoon, and welcome to my research uh, and presentation. Um, what we researched here was the role clarity for the New Life Media Network. Um, New Life Media Network, it's a nonprofit uh, Christian radio station that I network that I actually work for. Um, it's comprised of two stations um, that cover Illinois and parts of Missouri and Indiana. Um, there's two studios, like I said, one in Peoria and one in Champaign. Um, and they also have combined over 27 um, signals um, across that area. Um, originally in this, we were going to compare the job descriptions um, with their roles um, and do them individually. Um, but the problem with this that we found out when I went to ask the, both stations for their job descriptions is one station did not have job descriptions for every employee that needed to be surveyed. And the job descriptions that were had for the overall New Life Media Network was actually job descriptions that I wrote back as an intern in 2006. Um, so another plus about this is that we're actually going to start writing job descriptions. Um, so now instead of everything we are looking to see how role clarity has affected the engagement here at the network. Um, let me give you some little background about the survey. Uh, first the survey was 20 questions. Um, it was a little bit difficult to find um, questions to ask pertaining towards role clarity, especially because majority of role clarity questions are part of a whole engagement survey. Um, so what I did was I sourced uh, from research from companies like Effectory for, uh, that is actually out of Amsterdam and Quantum Workplace. Um, and they had some great examples of rural clarity questions that could be asked. And I also partnered with our HR manager of the network to decide what would work as well. So overall, we decided to do 20 questions. And we're going to do this as a Likert scale. Um, if you're not familiar with that scale, it basically gives you four answers. Uh, the four answers could be disagree, somewhat disagree, somewhat agree, and agree. Um, this... I thought about doing the five questions with the middle no answer, but I didn't think that that was good enough and because we wanted to get actual answers and not a not applicable answers. Um, basically, if we could, I wish we could do a higher questions because of course more around 100 questions would give you a better thing, but I believe this could be obtained if we spent money with a company like Effectory or Quantum Workplace or some other HR management um, consulting company. Um, also on top of these 20 questions, we also did at the very end a 21st question um, that was actually a net promoter score. If you're not familiar with that, it basically gives them an, they can rank from one to 10 on the question of one being the least and 10 being the greatest. Um, and with this eight and below is, well, Eight and below is negative, and you get a zero for that, while a nine is neutral and a 10 is a promoter score. Um, now for some results that we had. Um, overall, it was great participation. We had 40 total employees questioned, um, and that was our goal, um, with 100% participation. Um, this included 21 women and 19 males. Overall, the score for the role clarity is at 86.25. Um, of course, this came from the 20 Likert scale questions that we answered. Um, here are some examples of some of the top questions that I think were very interesting. Um, the top score overall was actually, I know how my job contributed to the success of the station. This actually received a 97 out of 100. Now, I could also say um, I don't really have info to compare this to. But I would think that being a nonprofit and we are out there for a mission to spread the hope of Jesus through music, um, through one song, one heart, one conversation at a time, that most of us are there because it is a mission for us. Um, it's not just a job. Um, this is very drastic from when I worked for Macy's. Um, but again, too, you can't really compare a nonprofit and a for profit. I do not believe on these two types, on these types of questions. Um, another interesting was our lowest score. Um, our lowest score question was my supervisor sets performance goals for my job. This actually scored a 73 out of 100. Um, I know that people in the network have specific jobs and tasks that they have to do. Now, 
I believe also too that because we are a nonprofit, there are certain things that people do have to do, and they're expected to get their job done. Um, but I'm not really sure exactly what performance goals um, or not. So this would be a question that would have to be interviewed to get some more information about. The most interesting um, info that I received was deadlines are realistic at work. Did score 77.5, which wasn't too bad, um, lower than our average. But the key things that were very interesting in this is it had the most di most disagree answers of all the questions, and that was with five of them. Um, for that question, we had five that disagreed, three somewhat agreed, and 12 that totally agreed. Um, my thoughts behind this is that it could be because there are different st there are two different stations and there's different roles in the workplace. Um, so depending on the managers, uh, what each state station might have going on at that time with events, etc. One person might have a lot bigger a workload than the other. And this is another that would need to be distinguished by doing um, the same survey um, anonymously for each station instead of just doing it as a network in whole. Um, cool thing was 16 out of our 20 questions scored above an 80 score. So overall with being an 86.25, I believe that the role clarity at the network is pretty good. Um, the last question, the net promoter score, was basically, would you recommend New Life Media as a place to work? And this net promoter score came in at an 80, which is pretty good. Um, some things for the improvements of the future. Um, like I said just a bit ago, I would actually like to do a survey for each station. It was anonymous, um, so we could get high participation percentage. And I don't believe there is a fear in the network that there would be any repercussions um, for knowing who answered what. But we didn't want to go down that road or anything like that and keep it anonymous, especially because I work for the network as well as I am a student doing this consulting. Um, the other thing also I would think about is maybe possibly breaking down the survey by roles. So think about two different surveys that are exactly the two surveys that are exactly the same. So we send out one to CIC and one to WBGL. But the other thing that I think that would actually be the best would to split the surveys out by roles, um, such as we have on-air talents, uh, production who does a lot of the editing. Then we also have the office staff uh, team and as well as the underwriters and the IT slash engineering team. Um, all these were grouped up in this survey for a total network wide. But if we'd like to look more, a little bit more micro um, at this survey, it would be a lot better to do those types of surveys. Overall, it was a really interesting project. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. And the cool thing is now that I get to work, because um, this is my work, I get to work on the job descriptions to figure out what people are actually supposed to do and possibly go further with this role clarity and compare it to the actual job descriptions um, like we originally were going to do. Thank you and have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye.